Hi, I'm Lisa Perrin, Account Manager at Flextricity, and we're here today in Gateshead to learn more about how this award-winning district heat scheme is providing low-cost, low-carbon energy to the local community whilst helping to balance the UK electricity network. In October 2018, Gateshead Energy Company were Flexitricity's first electricity supply customer and the first behind the meter generation asset to enter into the balancing mechanism. Flexitricity's 24 7 control room, based in Edinburgh, is connected to Gateshead CHPs via a remote outstation. This allows us to automatically start and stop the engines when we receive a signal from National Grid. Flexitricity also monitor a number of other signals from the energy centre, including the level in these thermal stores, which allows us to operate within the site's preset parameters and not disrupt the day job of the district heat network. My name is Jim Gillen, I'm the Energy Services Manager for Gates Council, and we're here today in Gates Energy Centre, uh, which is run by Gates and Energy Company, which I'm also representative of. Um, so basically the energy centre is um, a heat and power uh, generator uh, to provide heat and power to a network of about two and a half kilometres of underground uh, heat pipes and private wire cables that, that serves a number of buildings uh, across Gateshead Town Centre that includes an art gallery, a music venue as well as our civic centre of the council and also domestic properties as well. The Gateshead District Energy Scheme uh, incorporates schemes that go beyond the traditional district heat network. For example we are a heat network and we provide heat and power but in addition to that, we've installed our own private wire network, so we also supply high voltage electricity to our customers as well. We needed to do that to increase the revenue to make this scheme, which is still quite small, uh, make it commercially viable. But in addition to that, we also have uh, on-site heat storage, and also we have uh, electrical storage via a large battery. And so we have the full integration of heat generation, power generation, and heat and power storage as well. And that's what really sets us apart from other schemes that have been developed in the last 10 years. And for that reason, we were lucky enough to win the Visionary Project Award at the 2017 uh, ADE Awards event. The challenges in the industry at the moment, the main one is around price volatility. Um, if we had a crystal ball and we could tell what the price is going to be next week, next year, we'd all be rich. Um, without that, we need ways to make our business plan more resilient. And that's where grid services come in, uh, because extra income streams diversifies um, uh, the way we, we can generate revenue, and that just makes our business case more, uh, more stable. Before we committed to DSR, we did have some concerns. Uh, one of those was around the reliability of the income we could generate. Um, often before we've been promised incomes and we haven't seen those come through. Uh, so that was one concern. The other was around penalties. We know sometimes if we're committing to deliver a service to uh, the grid, then there are penalties for, for non-compliance and that. Uh, and that was a concern before we went into DSR. In terms of flexitricity, our main concern is when we partner with anyone that they're going to be professional, reliable, um, and deliver the services they promise. But um, the experience we've had over the last three years has completely satisfied any concerns we had over those, those issues. For us as a council, um, the process of working with electricity has been seamless. Um, every step of the way we've been supported, it's been very clear what uh, the, they were going to do for us and vice versa what we need to do as well. Um, and their professionalism and reliability has been second to none. Um, and then second to that, uh, when we wanted to expand our services, um, we actually put out a tender, uh, an open tender, and Flextricity, because of their quality uh, and, and competitiveness of their response, they were the clear winners of that um, tender. And so that's where we're very pleased to uh, have Flextricity become both our supplier and our agent for the balancing mechanism which we're now in. By working with DSR, we've learned to understand the additional benefits we can get from uh, seeking revenues from DSR which can help underpin schemes and as a public body we're not always looking to make a profit we're lo looking to deliver schemes that provide benefits to, to the consumer if we can unlock additional income streams it makes more schemes viable it allows us to take more schemes to through, through to, um, to construction development which is good for us it's good for the community and it helps us pass on the benefits whether they're cost or carbon or environmental to the wider community